Martin, I'm not sure how much you've looked at Ole Miss, but what have you seen of them? What's the challenge, and how big is this challenge for you guys in the back end? Yeah, um, we watched a little bit about them this morning, a little bit on them. Uh, I kind of seen the back end of the Arkansas game, kind of watched that a little bit. Um, I feel like the biggest challenge is going to be, you know, doing your assignment. Um, this offense, kind of like our offense, we went up against it in the spring, went up against it in the fall as far as a high tempo, wide splits with the receivers. And Matt Corral is a great quarterback, makes good decisions. Uh, you know, just make sure we contain him and uh, just do our assignment. And I feel like we'll be best off. Well, to another history question for you. What do you know about Lane Kiffin and his connection to Tennessee? Obviously, I've been coached here before, and, and how much this game will mean to the team. Yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it. I know uh, Lane Kiffin, when he was recruiting at Alabama, kind of followed me on Twitter a little bit. and um, Not too much. You know, uh, I hear a lot on social media here about, you know, the hate, the love, you know, how that goes. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to us. Um, you know, we're just there to play football. We're here to play another week, another game. And, you know, the stadium's going to be loud. You know, the fans are excited about the game. At the end of the day, we're just trying to win a football game, regardless of who the head coach is on the other sideline. You guys have absorbed injuries pretty well uh, this year, especially in the secondary turn. It's played great the other night. What's the secret to that about guys filling in well as well as the starters? Uh, we just hold a standard here. Um, you know, make sure you know your assignment. You know, make sure you know, it doesn't matter if you're a walk-on. Doesn't matter if you're on scout team. Everyone's supposed to know exactly what they're supposed to do. And on the defense, but really more in the secondary, we kind of hold that standard of knowing the job, knowing the responsibility. When guys are on the sideline, you know, the first string guys come off the field. Second string goes on. We're asking the third strings like, what's their responsibility as a play is going on? Just make sure everyone knows what they're supposed to do. So whenever their number is called. You know, they're, they're not going out there wondering what their job is. They know exactly what to do. And, you know, like you said, with the injuries and things like that, next man up, no one blinked on Saturday, and we just knew what we had to do to make the, uh, make the plays. Ben? Alante, what did you see from Brandon on Saturday, and just how much have you seen him before all since he's uh, gotten here? Yeah, uh, every time I do media, I kind of tell you guys that Brandon's doing really good. You know, he's taking his reps. He's asking the right questions. And one thing about BT is, you know, he knows every position on the field. He knows star, he knows corner, he knows safety. And, you know, come Saturday, I mean, we knew he was going to start on, I think it was Tuesday. We knew that he was going to play on Saturday. And, you know, we just kind of stayed on him. You know, he was on the sideline asking the right questions. Theo Jackson was giving him the corrections on the field during practice, but also during the game. Um, but BT is a studio of the game, a guy who wants to, you know, learn, a guy who wants to play. And, you know, y'all seen me on Saturday to kick and play. And I've kind of been saying that from the jump. Yeah, we were super excited for him. Uh, there right toward the end of the game, he was like, hey, y'all got to make sure y'all go see Aspen, which is his daughter's name. It was like, hey, we're there. You know, uh, big family here. And when, that's like one of the biggest things, the biggest changes I can say um, within our, our staff and our team is, you know, it's truly a family. And the coaches didn't have a problem with him bringing Aspen into the locker room. And just, you know, everyone just loving on him and then loving on her. And, you know, that's huge. And I'm excited for him. I'll take two things. You got your hand on on a couple of footballs during that last game. What's it like to be known for a guy that can earn fans and everybody else some, some cookies and be that kind of guy? Uh, it's it's awesome. Um, at the end of the day, I kind of not think about that when I'm playing. Um, it's something that I do do off the field as far as making a video and things like that. But, you know, in the game, I'm not thinking when I make a break, oh, get this interception for the fans, right? It's, you no, know, we're just trying to make plays, trying to, you know, win, get the edge. And on that specific play you're talking about, I actually thought I could pick six it. You know, I was a little late, a little step behind. But at the end of the day, you know, we'll take a PBU. And as well as Hendon Hooker's playing, how much does that impact the entire team, including giving you guys juice on defense? Yeah, um, it's huge. You know, Hendon's a, always been a vocal guy, even when he didn't start week one. A guy who's vocal, a guy who, you know, leads the team off the field, but also on the field when we're at practice. You know, when we come up together, leading a quick little um, motivation speech, I guess you can say, before practice. And, you know, that's big, you know, having a quarterback who has that much confidence. But I feel like our whole quarterback room is the exact same way. You know, those guys are still leading, even the guys who aren't playing now. You know, they're leading in the right way, being vocal on the field. So it's big. Alante, your shirt right there says special teams. How how important just is special teams to this team? How well do you feel like it's been this year and kind of giving you guys an advantage in some of these games? Yeah, special team is huge. Um, it's one thing Coach Hyper always talks about. You know, we have to win in this phase of the game, um, week in and week out. And someone we've kind of been up and down with, you know, the past two weeks kind of gave up touchdowns and, and special teams. And, you know, it's something that we have to 
hone in on, you know, make sure we're asking the right questions, but also make sure we put our eyes in the right places. I feel like the eye discipline and just fitting in the wrong gaps maybe has been our problem there, but small things that can be fixed. Uh, special teams is big. You know, I love playing special teams, and I feel like this staff is huge on making sure that everybody plays special teams. You know, if you start on a position, offense or defense, you are on special teams, which is big. What's uh, the mindset as a defensive back going up against a mobile quarterback, and especially when he's rolling out to your side of the field? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Hendon Hooker is a guy who does the same thing in practice. Um, I mean, like I said, Matt Corral is a great quarterback, but we have the same same talent, I feel, as quarterback and also in our receiver room that we see in practice. Uh, we don't just do scout team in practice. We do good on good. So, you know, our first team defense and first team offense is still going head to head week in and week out of practice. And, you know, it, it happens. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, as a DB, you just got to be prepared for anything and everything. And, um, I don't know, I've, we'll, we'll be ready to play come Saturday because I feel like just from practice today and workouts and things like that, we're really focused, we're really locked in. And in the film room this morning, a lot of guys asking a lot of questions, just the players, it's player-led, right? So, you know, uh, we'll be ready come Saturday. Yeah, um, I don't think the tempo is a question. Um, a lot of people are going to probably talk about that. Oh, my gosh, Ole Miss goes tempo. Well, so does our offense. Like I said, we went through it through spring ball, went through it through fall camp. Tempo is not going to be an issue on Saturday. We'll be in shape. We'll be ready to play. We'll be ready to go to the next play, big play or small play. Wes and Jen. <coughs> well, okay, I know y'all sort of take this thing day to day, and so every day you kind of try to come in here with the same mindset and get better and all that. But when you – seen the past couple of weeks what, what can work mm -hmm. and, and that y'all can play at this level. In the back of your mind a little bit, does that give you a little bit more juice knowing like, okay, all this work is starting to, to show now? Uh, I wouldn't really say it gives me more juice. I would just say it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I told you so. You know, I'm kind of talking to myself. Um, I've always felt like we had the right defense. I feel like we've always had the right guys on the defense. It was just, you know, putting it all together. And if you notice when our defense is clicking, we're clicking. And when we're flying around, we're flying around. And throughout this season, if you notice, we've been playing fast, we've been playing physical. And you know, that's one thing that I've always known that we could do as a defense. It was just all about, you know, seeing it. And now that I see it, it's like, wow, like I knew that we could do this the whole time. So. Two quick things. Uh, Coach Eiffel told us that Juwan Mitchell is out for the year after the other shoulder procedure. He's a guy that had high expectations. Mm -hmm. um, what's your reaction to that? Uh, I hate it for him because uh, we kind of talked before the season started. He kind of told me what his goals was personally and what he wanted for this team. But, you know, like we kind of said, next man up mentality. We've talked. I've talked to Juju. You know, I've prayed for him and uh, continue to do that. But, you know, he's in good spirits. He's still here with the team. And he's still supporting the team. So, yeah. And then obviously the tempo in comparing Ole Miss's offense to your offense that you go up against all the time, that you can tell. But what are other subtle differences, if there are very many, between what they do on offense and what you potentially does on offense? Uh, really couldn't tell. I mean, maybe they take a few more shots this season that, that we haven't taken this season. Um, but I, I really just watched a little bit of film, haven't really broke it down how I want to yet. Um, haven't seen too much difference, you know, just they like to throw the ball deep, and they also like to pound the ball and run the ball. And one thing we've been doing really good at is stopping the run. So just make sure we do our job in the passing game. We'll be fine.